Welcome to New Guitar Tutorial. John Mayer is currently on a solo tour, unfortunately not in, in Europe, but he, he performed Waiting on the Day on the Late Show and today we're gonna check out this version of the song. If you're interested in sheet music, you can go to my Patreon page. There you can download a transcription of the parts I will show you in this tutorial, including tabs and regular notation. And if you enjoyed the lesson, please hit subscribe, ring the bell, leave a like and drop me a line in the comments. The song is in the key of D major and the chords for the intro and the verse part of the song are basically a D major chord, a G major chord and an A major chord, but John Mayer is adding some chord melody. So we're starting with a, with a D sus 2 chord. We have the 2nd fret of the G string, the 3rd fret of the B string and the open D and the open high E string. And on the next 8th note we're adding the 2nd finger on the 2nd on the fret of the high E string and we're changing to regular B chord. 1 and 2, then on 2 and we're going to the D sus 2 chord again. And on the next down stroke, we're going to the D chord again. One and two and three, four and one and two and. Then in the next bar, we're, we're staying on the D chord for, for beat one and beat two. And then on three, we're going to the D sus two chord again. And on the next up stroke, we're adding the second finger again. One. Then on four and we're going up to the to the fifth fret of the of the B string and the seventh fret of the high E string and one and and on beat two of the next bar we're releasing the fourth finger and we bar the fifth fret of the B string and the high E string. So once again this bar, one and two and three and four and one and two, three, four and. One more time, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then these two bars are repeated, one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and and in the next bar we're starting with a D chord again one and and on B2 we're adding the, the fourth finger on the fifth fret of the high E string two and three and four and on B4 we're going back to the to the normal D chord one and two In the next bar we're going to an A chord but first one more time this this bar one and two and three and four and one and the A chord is the open A string the second fret of the of the D string the second fret of the G string and the second fret of the of the B string and John Mayer is, is barring this chord one and two and three and on three and He's adding the third finger on the third fret of the B string, so we have an A sus4 chord and four and. So one more time this bar. One and two and three and four and. And one more time the complete intro part. And then the verse starts and the guitar part for the for the verses is basically the same 
guitar part that we played during the intro of the song with only sli some slight variations from time to time. In the first verse he isn't going up to the to the fifth and the seventh fret, he's staying here on this, this open G6 chord, here we have the, the third fret of the low E string, we mute the A string, open D string, open G string, third fret of the B string and the open, open E string. And then we're going back to the, to the D chord again. So one more time, these two bars. of this part he's going up to the to the fifth and seventh thread and then this this fifth thread on on the on the high e string isn't played he's staying on a normal d chord and the, the verse part ends on an a chord but there's only a two four bar of a so we have only two beats of this a chord and then we're in the, in the chorus section but before we're going to the chorus, here's, here's the complete verse part. And then the chorus starts and the chorus is one bar of, of B minor. B minor is we're borrowing the, the second fret and we add the, the third fret of the B string, the fourth fret of the D string and the fourth fret of the G string. Then one bar of D major with an F sharp in the bass. Here we have the first finger on the second fret of the G string, third finger on the third fret of the B string, second finger on the second fret of the high E string and we're using using the thumb for the for the second fret of the low E string, mm -hmm. and we we mute the, the A string, and then we have two bars of, of G major. He is using this open G major chord with the with the third fret of the low E string. John Mayer is, is using the thumb for the root note. I prefer using the, the second finger. Then we mute the A string again, open D string, open G string, and the third fret of the B string and the, and the high E string. So we have one bar of B minor, one bar of D over F sharp, and two bars of G major. And over the two bars of G major, he's playing some, some slight variations. Sometimes he's going from a G major chord to a G major seven chord. Here we remove the third finger and we add the first finger on the second fret of the high E string. And sometimes he's going to a G six chord, then we have the, the open, open G string. So with one example, I'll show you the, the first chorus section. We're starting with the B minor. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. So on the first two bars of G major, we're going from the G major chord to the G major seven chord on one and on one end in the second bar, so one more time, these first four bars, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, three and, four and. then we're going to the B minor again, one On, for the second time he's going to the G major 7 on 3 end and then on 4 end he's going down to the G6 and on 1 end back to the G major 7 so we have 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and then one more time the B minor chord 
chord, then once again to D major or over F sharp, then for the for the third time playing the two bars of G major, he's staying on the on the open G chord till three and in the second bar, and then he's going to G major seven, one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and and on the, the fourth and the last time, one bar of B minor, one bar of D major or F sharp, and on for the last G chord, he's going to the to the G major seven on three and again one and two and three and four and one and and on one and in the second bar where we're doing a stop. So the complete sixteen bar chorus section. One. part and you can do this these variations like you want to you don't have to play it exactly as they they are played in this version and then the, the next verse part is basically the same as the as the first verse um, there's only one difference we don't have a two four bar in the end we we have a complete four four bar of the A major and the, the verse part is twice as long so we have to repeat this this whole section. So one more time uh, this second verse Another chorus part which can be played in the same way like the first chorus but there's no stop at the end we play the rhythm till the end of the chorus section and after the second chorus there's a there's an interlude part which starts like a variation on the chorus section we're starting on the B minor chord again going to the D over F sharp and for the two bars of G major, we're, we're changing between the G major and the G major 7 chord. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. And on B2 in the first bar, where we're doing an accent. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. These four bars are repeated. One more time with a with a different ending. Here we're we're staying on the on the G major chord, and then there's another part. Starting like we started in the in the verse part, and then we're going to the D with the F sharp in the bass again, and here we're starting on the root note, and then we're picking the the G and the B string, and then we're going to the open G chord again, and we 
doing the same picking root note and then the G in the B string. And these two bars are played twice. After that, there's another verse part in, in the, the short version, like the first verse with the 2 4 bar in, in the end. And then there's another chorus part and the first eight bars of the last chorus are played as the, the choruses before. And the, the last eight bars have the same chords but are played a bit softer, a bit quieter. And then there's an ending and the ending starts once again like the verse part. And then we're going to, to a C at nine chord. Here we have the the third fret of the of the A string, the second fret of the D string, the open G string, and the third fret of the B string and the open E string. And then we're going to a, to a G6 chord with a B in the bass. We, we leave the third finger and we're on the third fret of the B string and we have the first finger on the second fret of the A string. Complete two bars, one, and this is repeated, and one more time, and we're ending on the on the D chord with the F sharp in the bass. This was the guitar part for the solo acoustic version on Waiting on the Day. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please hit subscribe if you haven't, ring the bell, leave a like, drop me a line in the comments and I hope to see you next time. Bye.